This is breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa. Was the initial appearance for Mr. Barrios. Uh, it was a, a bail review because he was just arrested yesterday. Uh, as you all saw, the case was put over until Tuesday for his initial arraignment. Uh, it will be at, at that time when he is formally informed of the charges I intend to bring. Uh, we intend to file two counts of murder with use of a deadly weapon and four counts of attempted murder with use of a deadly weapon. Uh, this is a serious case, as I'm sure everybody can understand. What a tragedy for this to have occurred. So the next formal court appearance is on Tuesday, where Mr. Barrios will be officially arraigned and face the charges uh, that I've outlined. I will now take some questions. Two counts of murder with use of a deadly weapon and four counts of attempted murder. I believe there were four people who were injured uh, who uh, survived. Can you give us any background on uh, why the suspect was in town? Like what type of motive there I might have, have been? I have a little information, but we're still gathering that information. I know that he came in from California uh, and that he was only in town for a short while, but I don't have a lot of specifics. Why were his hands I can't tell you that. That's a Clark County Detention Center matter, and they must have had reasons for covering his hands. And uh, my understanding, there are actually six victims who survived and two who died. So going along. I apologize. You know, I made a mistake. Uh, there were six in addition to the two. Thank you for correcting that. So there will be two counts of murder with use of a deadly weapon and six counts of attempted murder with use of a deadly weapon. Thank you. Is he a citizen? Uh, my information is that he's not a citizen of the United States. And how does that affect the court proceedings? It really doesn't affect it at all. Uh, whether he is a citizen or not, we're going to proceed based upon the evidence in this case. Uh, so that has no effect at all. Is deportation a potential? I'm not thinking about deportation right now. I'm thinking about filing very serious charges based upon the evidence, uh, based upon what you all know occurred just yesterday. Have you pinpointed a motive yet? No, it's still under investigation. We're still looking into why a person would do this. Do you have any message for the tourists coming over to the strip? I didn't understand your question. If, uh, any message for the tourists? Is I still can't. Is there a message for the tourists coming to the strip? Well, the, the uh, strip is one of the safest tourist areas in America, believe it or not, with the thousands and thousands of visitors that we have each and every day. These are isolated incidents. Uh, these are random, uh, very unusual incidents. But on a daily basis, we have thousands and thousands of people uh, visiting our strip corridor, our casinos, and they enjoy themselves. So I don't think that there should be a fear for the safety. We have people out there walking right now. Uh, but uh, we do take this seriously. There is an increased police presence. So we're always striving to provide the best public safety atmosphere we can. This incident was considered unprovoked. Do you have any information contradicting that information? No. Is this a case you could consider the death penalty? This is a pretty serious case. And we look at all the facts and circumstances like any other case. Uh, we are going to give this serious consideration. But it's so new. It's so early on. Uh, that whether or not we file the notice of intent to seek the death penalty will be a decision made in the next 30 to 60 minutes. So as far as your knowledge, do we have anything to say at any time? I'm not going to comment on whether he made statements or not. Will there be a mental health evaluation of any sort? Uh, it's not unusual for uh, a person who's charged with crimes like this under uh, this scenario for his lawyer to uh, want to look into his mental health status. That would not be a surprise. One of the things that he was telling people before the attack is that like, he was a chef and that's why he wanted to post your photos. Uh, is there any information suggesting that he actually is a chef? Or? I read the same information you did, Caitlin. I don't have any additional information. Okay, we're good. Thank, Thank you. you. I wish you could cut out the part where I said You've been watching breaking news from the Las Vegas Review-Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa.